Dear Lemurian Choristers, this is the second video to explain how to do the whale song, which is based on the sound rrrr. I explained in the first video how to how you might be able to find this motion in the back of the throat with the lower part of your tongue. And I have gotten some feedback from people who found it quite impossible to find or learn. I would like to offer a second technique for you, in case you cannot get the rrrr in the back of the throat. To simply do it with the tip of the tongue, as the Italians or the Spanish would pronounce the rrr vowel. A simple way to train it is to repeat the consonants d d d d or the consonant t and d. And get the tongue to go up and down and make all sorts of fast movements against the uh, palate just above the teeth, the lower part of the palate. So, if you go, hopefully your tongue will get used to making a sign of a kind of a vibrating rolling motion, and eventually you can start experimenting a bit with the other consonants, or maybe try out words and maybe combine it with a P, like and then eventually it may start vibrating and produce a proper. So I hope this is clear because one version was I hope you can see my tongue tip of the tongue vibrating uh, at the front or the which you cannot see because it's too far back in the throat. The at the back of the throat is actually what I believe Dr. Todd is doing when he does the whale song but the at the front will also work. Now there are two uh, different situations in the levels of the um, Lemurian choir where you will need it. One of them is, um, I'm not sure which number yet, I will post it below this video, uh, where the golden choir has to do at the end of one of the levels has to do a high-pitched I find it much easier to reach the high notes with the tip of the tongue technique as I just did now. You can also combine it with a OO type of vowel, as this is, will be in this uh, particular level. But just to show you what happens in the mouth, I will do it on a different vowel so I can open my mouth a little. So I go... <laughs> if I actually pout and make OO... <laughs> so this is a way you can combine the tip of the tongue with the any vowel you like. So this is one way you can train it. If you got the rrr, you can just make sliding motions up and down and you go rrr. And you can try out for yourself. Can I do the rrr? And I can switch to my falsetto voice and do it up there. Um, the gold choir will need to do this effect up there. And I believe it was on the OO vowel, so it will be And the red choir will have quite extensive on the lower pitch, which is the C sharp. So you can actually practice And you can try out also here if you can do it with a Combining it with different vowel shapes in your mouth. Of course you will never get a real perfect vowel but the whole point of this technique is that you have this vibration in combination with a certain set of overtones. Now for the overtones there are a few other videos so you may watch those if you have um, if you need more information about the overtones. I believe that is all for the moment I will say about the RRR technique at the front, which means the tip of the tongue uh, vibrating against just above the teeth. Rrr. Thank you for watching. If you have any questions or any requests, time is getting very short now, so I'm not sure I will be able to do a lot, but I will try to reply or to make extra videos for you as uh, the time still permits. Happy chanting, and I'll see you in Maui.